Hey everybody, this is Chris Savage Jordan here, and welcome to my, well, I guess I could say making your airsoft gun illegal video. I mean, I, I shouldn't say that on the internet, I'm probably gonna get arrested. What I'm gonna show you in this video actually is illegal, so if you've purchased an airsoft gun and you're going to paint the tip of it to cover up the orange, uh, it's gonna avoid any warranties and stuff like that, and, you know, so you won't be able to make any returns if it breaks. Anyway, uh, let's get to it. So, when you're gonna be using this, we're gonna be using this model paint. You wanna use this paint because it's oil-based, it's not gonna wash off, or get it wet at all, um, but it's gonna stain pretty much anything. They have two different oil-based ba uh, oil model paints. There's glossy and then there's flat. So, I wasn't exactly sure when I first did this, I did this trial by fire. Glossy ones are gonna make your tips turn out a lot more like this. Like if you think, I don't, I don't even know if you can tell. You probably can't. Um, think of glossy as like a shiny black car. That's what, how you need to envision what glossy is gonna look like. But flat is gonna look actually more like the way this gun looks. It's gonna look a whole lot more metallic. It's gonna have more of a sheen, not a shine. So we're gonna be using my flat black for this gun. Uh, and if you ever do buy both types, I mean, it's like a bottle for a, a bottle, a dollar for a bottle this size, uh, but the paint goes a long way. If you're ever going to buy both of them, make sure you put like a G on top for glossy and then an F on top for flat. And that's what I've done with all mine. So you don't get them mixed up because that would really suck. So you want to shake it up before you open it up. And for all of you who are worried about watching this for like 30 minutes, watch me paint. Um, I'm going to be speeding it up, so don't really worry about it. And it doesn't really take like 30 minutes. I mean, depending on how big the tip of the gun is, it's gonna really vary. So we're gonna get started here. You don't need a whole lot of paint. Um, like I said, it goes a long way. And a fresh brush is, get, does a whole lot better than a used brush. The reason, the reason I say that is I have a used brush I painted like three guns with. And I mean, it, now it's like a stick because of how hard the paint is. So if you're gonna use this, get paint thinner to clean out all the paint once you're done, like all of it, because it'll make the gun, oh wait, sorry, make the gun, make the paintbrush go stiff at the tip, which all you can really do is like drag the paint and actually brush it on there. And that doesn't work as well. You're gonna use a whole lot more paint for less of a surface and a lot of it's gonna go to waste. Now, if any of you are looking to get guns, um, there's boneyard places you can get them from, like the airsplat.com has a thing called their airsoft graveyard. So they've got like some big full size good looking guns for like three bucks a pop. They're really nice. And I mean, and it's only like a big deal if you're trying to do like plotted films. I mean, I, unless of course you mean you have a lot of bad guys on screen at once. Because if you're doing plotted films, you need to build what's called suspension of reality. So you have to have more than just one machine gun that your main character uses. Or like if your main character starts out with a pistol and then picks up a bat, kills a bad guy and then gets his machine gun and then throughout the rest of the movie all the bad guys have pistols, so. Sorry I forgot in the way there for a second. I wasn't thinking. I just put my fat head in the way of the gun tip. All right, once you, um, uh, once you got most of the outside done, just finish it up real quick here. You do want to paint the inside. Probably get a little more on the other side because there's still that orange. All right, yeah, that's about done. So, there you have it. Yeah. Now your gun looks a whole lot more real. You can take it into combat and not have to stand out in front of everybody. And I have friends who are airsoft and they do this anyways just because it makes the gun look cooler. Their opinion. But yeah, if you're gonna ever do this, 
make sure you're okay with voiding any warranties or anything like that because that's exactly what's going to happen. Um, making your gun illegal voids any warranties that any website or any store will give because, I mean, it's illegal. So, and you did that yourself. But anyway, till next time, see you in one of my videos or my next vlog or anything like that. Stay savage, all you guys, and I'll see you later.